Canada, like other countries around the world, have recognized, uh, long recognized, that the Taliban is a terrorist organization responsible for horrific violence both in their own country and elsewhere around the world. And rightly, we listed them as a terror organization. We're now facing the challenge that the Taliban is now the government in Afghanistan. We do not recognize them as government, but we know that Afghans, particularly Afghan women and girls, are incredibly vulnerable uh, with them as a government, and we need to try and figure out how to get aid to uh, communities and individuals who are hurting in Afghanistan without supporting and funding the terrorist organization that is their government right now. It's a complex situation. We have a number of allies uh, who've moved forward on it, and we are looking uh, to do the same. Canada has a long history of stepping up for Afghanistan, and we will continue to be there for the Afghan people, but we have to do it in a way that doesn't support or embolden the government that is busy oppressing and doing violence to them. Unfortunately, we see the gun lobby working with the Conservative Party of Canada to spread misinformation, to use fear, to sow division um, by trying to mislead Canadians. And the reality is we are stepping up by freezing the market on handguns across the country, meaning there will be no more handguns in this country, while we will always respect the rights of law-abiding hunters and farmers to use shotguns and rifles, there are certain guns that have no place in our communities, no place anywhere in Canada,